Hello and welcome to YouTube channel Health Q, the place where our mission is not only to motivate you but help you to move on to the bright side of the health. I am your host physiotherapist Ming Nadaway and in today's video let's understand neuroplasticity and its role in how you move in that chill. So if you who are someone who is curious to know how we move and what is the importance of your brain in causing that movement happen then you should watch the series of videos which I have uploaded in previous few days. I've spoken about the role of sensory system in our movement. I've spoken about the role of action system or motor system in our movement. I've also spoken about the role of your memory and learning in our movement. And today I'm speaking about neuroplasticity. So let's first understand what exactly is neuroplasticity. Well, neuroplasticity is in God's gift. I truly believe in this. Human beings are given this gift that allows this brain to reshape, to reorganize, rewire itself depending on the environment. And this property that our brain has got is called as neuroplasticity. Well, if we look at the technical meaning of neuroplasticity, it means that the brain has an ability to reorganize itself depending on various factors and training that the brain goes through. Imagine how we have grown up from childhood till now. What are the changes in the patterns that we have seen? What are the new habits that we have developed and the older habits that we have given up? All of these things is possible just because of the fact that we are gifted with neuroplasticity. Now, what's the role of this neuroplasticity in the way we move? Absolutely, there is a very important role. Neuroplasticity is basically an way in which brain can constantly create and develop new neural pathways. The more practice that we do for a simple movement, the more repetition that this movement gets, the more stronger these pathways become and the more strong that brain area develops certain coding system that significantly impacts the way we move. I'll try to give you a very simple example. Remember the first day you were driving your car? Your neck was stiff, your hands were stiff. Every small detail you could see on the road. But now, when you have started driving on a daily basis, now you are listening to music, you are going through your own thoughts, you are still driving. Why all of those things happen? Why? Because your brain has become used to, to the same process of driving on a such a auto mode or repeated mode that you don't need to pay so much of attention. Your brain has developed strong neuronal pathways for driving skill set. These pathways and this property of brain, which is also called as neuroplasticity, can be utilized for its good in many ways in the rehabilitation or recovery process. But at the same time, there are some downsides of this neuroplasticity. It's this neuroplasticity principle that makes us more susceptible, more prone, and more sensitive to the pain experiences as well. The chronic pain that people experience, that chronic back pain or neck pain or knee pain, every single time when you get that new episode of pain, the previous memories get more stronger. And that makes you more alert, more fearful, more tight when it comes to the next pain episode. So, as I said, neuroplasticity has got a good side as well as downside of it. It all depends on how we work towards this neuroplasticity. That's why the neuroplasticity principle is very effectively and very frequently used in physiotherapy process. When you go through pain, we utilize this understanding of neuroplasticity and we try to minimize this effect of neuroplasticity to an extent that you can start working on your pain. For example, let's say you have a chronic back pain problem. Now, due to the neuroplastic changes, what will happen, your back muscles have gone weak and got tight at certain areas. Why? Because your body posture has developed that habit of being in that position. Now, the moment when you are trying to correct that position, whenever you are trying to sit erect, due to the neuroplastic changes in the body, the right posture, the erect posture that you were sitting on has now become an uncomfortable position and starts giving you pain. The moment you get pain, the alert system and the previous memory system start getting more active and the body starts responding to the pain in the form of tightness, stiffness and ache. 
this pattern needs to be broken. And that's where we need to work against this neuroplastic changes. And that's where rehabilitation also plays a role. We work on focusing on working. We work on focusing in reducing the tightness and reducing the stiffness around the muscle by working on areas like meditation, relaxation practices, and even using electrotherapy modalities. At the same time, we start working on correcting postures and giving some adequate postural practices that can retrain your brain to sit back again in the right postures that are helpful for your muscles. And last but not the least, the exercises that also you go through retrain your brain to work in the right patterns, the right movements. And that's how you can work on chronic pain. But at the same time, the neuroplasticity is beneficial as well. It is beneficial in situations where there are neurological disorders. For example, stroke. What happens in stroke? There is damage to certain area of the brain, isn't it? Now, when there is damage to the certain area of the brain, you are, that area of the brain, whatever is the function that are responsible by that area, that gets affected. So, what happens due to neuroplasticity? We can retrain the other areas of the brain and these other areas of the brain start helping to initiate or get that functioning back. For example, let's say you have a stroke in which a cerebellum which is a part of your brain gets affected. Now, cerebellum is responsible for automation, for coordinated movements. So, due to cerebellum damage, there will be challenges in terms of coordination. But with the repetition of practice, repetition of other systems in the body like your vision, your previous experiences, your learning, visual feedback, the proprioceptive system and the functional activities that you go through, you can start assetting or else utilizing other areas of the brain to take over the task. So now the other areas of the brain have started becoming more stronger, more learning about how to cause that movement happen without taking the help of your cerebral. That's what is the power of neuroplasticity. Now, you know what, what is good here? At physiotherapy practices, whatever we do, we utilize this principle of neuroplasticity, we utilize the principle of the importance of your sensory system, your learning experiences, and your action system all together to make sure that we can work on your movement goals. Remember, physiotherapy is not about just pain relief. Physiotherapy is not a one-time procedure. It's a long-term process. So no matter you are going through from a musculoskeletal problem, you are going through from a neurological disorder, you are also recovering from a cardiorespiratory problem, or else if you are going through from sensory issues, we can utilize these powers of the body to help you to move better, to get back to the functional level where you want to achieve. We can utilize these principles of neuroplasticity in conditions like Parkinson's disease, stroke, chronic pain, facial paralysis, cerebral palsy, to name a few. So if you are someone who is going through any of these challenges and need further help, you can reach out to us at www.healthqrehab.com, connect with our panel of expert physiotherapists and get treatment planned for you at comfort of your home and start working at it. We at Health Cure Rehab provide digital physio rehab services, which means we provide online as well as offline services. Our centers are there in Bangalore as well as in Maharashtra. You can visit our website and check all the details about us. And if you need help, please feel free to reach out. Our contact details and everything is mentioned in the description box below. On that note, I'll end this video here and I'll see you in another video. Thank you.